hi everyone it's me jamshed raza from methupdates.com and today we are going to start the question number two from the exercise 2.4 which is about determinant without expanding and proving the equation now in second equation what do we have let's get started and uh, in this question we have uh, 0 a minus b in first row and we have minus a 0 minus c and b c and 0 which all are equal to 0 and we are just, just going to suppose that uh, that determinant is equal to delta and we are going to say that it is equal to delta and we write the same value a uh, 0 a minus b and we have minus a 0 minus c and b c 0 and if you are going to just check that one we are going to take the transpose of that delta and for taking the uh, transpose of that determinant we just see that delta is equal to 0 a minus b and we have uh, minus a 0 minus c and we have b c and 0 and since we have that one determinant and we are going to take the transpose of that one and uh, after taking transpose you better know that that value uh, will change with each other and that one b with minus b will change and c with minus c will change and uh, these will remain as it is and we cannot change the diagonal itself we are going to just uh, change the secondary diagonal from that determinant and for that one we are just going to write del and uh, equal to zero and we are going to transpose that value which will be minus a and a and we are going to transpose the value of uh, b with minus b and we are just going to transpose the c with minus c and we are going to write minus c zero and c and in determinant you better know that we have one more property that is when you are going to just uh, transpose any determinant and you will get the determinant of that one it will be equal to the the determinant of that that matrices or you, what, whatever you are going to call that one and uh, in the last value the value will be same therefore that transpose will be equal to also delta now what else we are going to do we are going to take minus from row one from row 2 and from row, row 3 common uh, it means we are going to take common from R1 uh, taking taking minus minus sine common from common from R1 it means row 1 row 2 and row 3 what we will get here now 3 minus we will get 1 minus 2 minus and 3 minus now again if I'm going to just take that one it will come like here 0 uh, since it is minus a and we are going to change that to a and we have b minus b since we got the uh, minus sign and when we are going to multiply that minus with these minus uh, it will also turn to positive now a 0 and it will change to minus a and minus c and we have minus b change to b and minus c to c and we have 0 and next we are just going to check that that minus multiply by minus will be equal to plus uh, it means minus when minus multiply with minus then it will be plus and when that plus that plus with a combination of that to minus when we get plus and it will multiply with minus then we will get the value which is minus and minus now 0 a minus b and we have minus a 0 minus c and we have b c and 0 and uh, if you just observe that value you will find out that now the minus sign is here i will just put that to uh, center here and if you consider that value it is completely equal to the first value which is we have 0 a minus b minus a 0 minus c b c 0 and that same value 
are here 0 a minus b minus a 0 minus a and it means it is also equal to delta and therefore we are just going to make that step here for example I will say that delta is equal to minus delta because that value is also is equal to delta but and we have minus sign here as well and therefore now we are go just going to turn that delta and uh, bring that delta here and uh, it will it is minus and the value will be plus and we will get like this one and equal to zero and uh, again we are just going to turn that delta plus delta is equal to two delta which is equal to zero and then we have delta 2 is multiplying with delta that will go to 0 and uh, multiply with 0 and it will turn to 0 and since you know that the delta the value of delta is equal to 0 a minus b minus a 0 minus c and it means that complete determinant is equal to 0 and since you know that we have uh, just just uh, took and uh, suppose that delta is equal to that one it means the question which is delta will come to the zero and his, it is the required result i uh, hope you got the basic idea that how we are just going to uh, go going to prove the determinant without expanding and just uh, seeing that what value we have and we are just going to integrate that values in the properties of determinant and we get exactly uh, without any problem with simple step we will get the value I hope you got the question number two that how we are going to solve if you uh, have any question or feedback you can just write that in comment bo box below and we will be right back with uh, question number three in next video hope you got the idea for now goodbye